Welcome back to the shop. I'm Kirk Anderson. Now in this week's video, I'll be making a painting booth, or actually it's more designed specifically for powder coating. Now the majority of the booth will be made with half inch plywood and I start by breaking down the sheet of plywood with my track saw. And then once the sheet of plywood is cut down into more manageable pieces it's over to the table saw to finish the cuts. Now I'm going to be mounting a 20 inch box fan on the back of the booth. So I need to cut a hole in the piece that will be the back in order to accommodate the fan. And I don't know about you, but I don't have a compass big enough to draw a 19 inch circle. So I made one. I'm going to use the jigsaw to cut out the hole. And the first thing I need to do is to drill a hole so the jigsaw blade can be inserted. And then it's just a matter of following the line with the jigsaw and cut the hole out. Now on the two side pieces, I'm drilling two half inch holes to accommodate a half inch dowel. Now these dowels will be on the inside of the box and will allow you to hang things to paint them. Now I could construct a box just using regular butt joints. But what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to make some corner pieces. And this will allow the sides to be put together inside these corner pieces. And basically the entire box is just going to be put together with glue. And of course it's going to be clamped tight. As with any glue up, it's best if you spread the glue out. That will help create a better bond between the two pieces. And of course, apply plenty of clamp pressure. And once the corner pieces were all glued up and the glue has dried, it was over to the table saw to cut the pieces to size. And then it was just a matter of assembly. And there again, just using glue and plenty of clamp pressure. Now in attaching the corner pieces, I also made sure that I put clamp pressure on both sides. Well, that should be enough clamps, I think. Now with any project where you're just gluing it, you need to make sure that you allow for the time for the glue to set. Now I'm putting an air filter inside the box and I need to build a frame in order to be able to secure it nice in there. I need to put bolts in one piece of the frame that's so I can secure the other piece. Now it'll be evident what I'm doing later on. Now when you have two pieces and you want holes to be lining up, one of the best ways to do that is to clamp them together and then drill the hole through the other piece. As I said, I want these bolts secured, so in order to do that, I'm going to epoxy them in. Okay, so once the epoxy has cured, just a matter of gluing the pieces in. Now in order to create a really good seal around the air filter, I'm going to install a piece of foam and I'm going to use contact cement to do that. And there's a completed frame with the filter installed.
And now it's time to install the pieces that will hold the box fan. Now the bottom shelf that the box fan will rest on, I'm going to screw and glue into place. And there's the box fan installed. Now the top bracket that's holding the box fan in, I did not glue that in. Because that's how I can replace the box fan, is just by removing that top piece. Now this painting booth or powder coating booth is complete. Well there's a few things I'm going to add to the booth and I'll have a further video on that. Well I hope you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it. And if you did, give the video a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, all you woodworkers out there, just get out there and cut some wood.